hi guys welcome back last time I showed you um, what I did with the little rickety sticks and all and this time I'm going to show you how I created all of these windows and stuff and how I aged the side of this dollhouse okay and then I've got some like little moss down here and stuff so if you look at it from this side you can kind of sort of see the difference how this is bright blue all right here and nice and neat and then this is not it looks kind of very actually disgusting <laughs> that's the only other word i could think of for it but it looks very old and antique and aged and if you notice down here at the bottom there is like a I don't know, some kind of grout or something. And remember, this is a makeover. I didn't build this dollhouse. If you want to see this dollhouse at its best, look at my other dollhouse that I did with my dad at Beacon Hill. Okay, but anyway, back to this. This part down here is light gray. Over here, I've aged that to make it darker. Okay, so the first thing I did is I mixed up some black with some brown paint here and some black with some brown paint here. This paint has less black in it, as you can see when I mix it up. Um, it all look a little different. Or you can just keep it with the swirls and dip it as you go. But this one here definitely has all black. You need this for two reasons. One, it has to be watered down so that it'll actually age it without taking and totally covering it completely. And two, if you want to do some sticks or something, you don't want it to cover the sticks so badly that it looks like it's painted. You want it to look more like it's stained. Okay, so once you have your paint mixture um, thinned out enough for what you want, you want to go ahead and put some gloves or something to protect your hands on because your hands are going to get messy and paint can tend to be um, hard to get out from underneath your nails and stuff. So once you do that, then you can go ahead and start with your watered down process of paint. Dip your paintbrush in it and just kind of go all up on the edges and stuff. like that. Then you want to take your paper towel that you have make sure you get all up in the corners because you don't want it to stay in the corners and you want to rub most of the paint that you just put on back off. Okay, when your paint gets down to where there's pretty much not much on there, then you can go back up in and kind of just blot it in the areas where you want it to be more dominant. And don't forget the underside of the roof and the edges as well. And the thing is, is to get the paintbrush marks to go away. You don't want it to look like it's painted. If you can't get in there enough with the paintbrush with your finger, um, you can kind of take the edge of a toothpick or the edge of the paintbrush that you have and kind of go back in there and get that excess out, okay? So when you still have just a little bit left on there, you wanna kinda of blot up your windows a little bit because they're gonna look aged too. And you don't wanna have 
everything else look aged and then have nice, clear, shiny windows. And then just kind of blot the brush marks off so you don't see that it's brush marks. And when you wipe it, it'll leave a haze on the window. You can do the same thing with the black mixture, and then you can also do it with a green mixture. The black I use less because it's more dominant in color. Okay, now one thing you do have to remember is you don't want that light blue line up underneath of there. See how that was really, really light up under there? You want to definitely make sure you're getting that covered because otherwise it will look like it's been painted. And it's okay to have a couple little dark spots. You just don't really want light spots. That's basically all you do to aging that. Now, if you want to get back to this part, you can put some greenery on there as well, and you repeat the same process with all three colors. And then you can add different colors of green as well. Okay, so I've mixed up some green, and you see how watery it is, right? It's very, very liquefied. And, you know, you can keep some at the bottom a little bit more dominant with the mixture, but it should be very runny. Okay, once you have the green mixed up, you want to do basically the same process that we just did in the areas where you think maybe some moss or something would grow. Then you take your napkin that you have and you're going to repeat the same process. Okay, and if you see how this is very aged looking, it's starting to look a lot like the top of this. Now you'll just repeat this process that we just did with a little bit of dark, a little bit of green, a little bit of black, and you keep going on and on. The key is to doing thin layers of this paint mixture so that you have um, different textures and different levels of the paint. So it's not like one big, like, see how I just did like one big line like that? If I let that dry like that, it would end up being just brown. But by putting it on thick like that and leaving it in that area, it makes it look like it's dirty. Okay, so basically this is all that you're going to do for the whole entire thing. I'm going to go ahead and finish this area and then I'll show you how to do the wood and the moss. can't really tell on the camera what it actually looks like. Okay, so I'm going to kind of give you a close-up of what it's going to look like a little bit. Hopefully you can see that. I 
Now I didn't do over here, so if you can see the difference, I know that the camera wants to pick up everything is blue, but um, if you can see the difference on the porch wall, that is all light blue, and then it gets kind of like this, where it looks aged. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the broken windows. Okay, so now what you want to do to do the windows with the wood is get yourself some crazy glue or super glue or whatever, and you want to get some rickety sticks. And I'm using the rickety sticks with Loctite super glue. Okay, you want to decide which way you want to put them, and then you're just going to sit there and put some crazy glue either on here or you can do it wherever you're going to put the end of it. So to me, it's easier for me to just put it on here because then I know exactly where I'm going to stick my wood. And then you just hold it there for a second for it to catch. And then you add the next one. Shouldn't take long for it to catch if you're using the Loctite super glue because it's pretty quick on it. Um, you can put a cross board on it if you want like that. Or you can continue going down and do whatever. I kind of like the cross boards personally. But this is all preference. You can do whatever you want with it. Okay, so that's what you do there. Now, if you want to have a broken window and the window is already installed, make sure you get a sharp knife, something that you can use to cut the window. And then you just kind of go at it different ways. And what I like to do is I like to take and pull after I get it cut into like a V. I like to kind of pull it and let it break naturally like that. So that it really gives that broken window glass effect. Now... Mind you, this is not for kids. This is just a hobby thing. So don't use this for kids. And that kind of looks like it's it could be broken. And you can add more or less.
Okay, now I have a broken window there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some more of my boards up. And because my crazy glue leaked out, I'm gonna put that one on that end and then pick the sides that you want or the ones that you want and go from there kind of think I'm gonna put this one here because it's kind of really rickety And then that board there is going to allow me to have something to glue this board to. Okay, so like this one doesn't want to stick because it's too much of a space there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of another one and I'm going to put it in there. Just a little piece. And I'm going to glue that right there. So it has something to attach itself to. Because then it brings it to the same level. And that's all you got to do to put your rickety windows boards in. And then you can do the same with the bottom and so on. All right. Like and subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and look out for the next video, and we will be going on to finish the rest of this house. We still have to do the left, the um, right side, the moss, and we need to add some more aging up in the attic area, as well as um, the windows. I'm going to show you how to replace this window that's not here, and how to age that as well, and the same thing with the one that's over here so again this was a makeover and um i decided to turn it into a haunted house and uh we'll see how it turns out <laughs>